Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Skillet. So I've got something very special for you guys today. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the absolute coolest ways to earn passive income with crypto, and that is from copy trading. So if you've never heard of copy trading, essentially this is a method where you can get on an exchange and then automatically copy the trades of experienced and successful traders. So you're essentially letting an expert trader do your trading for you. Okay, it's kind of like having a mentor right there beside you who's an expert trader, but he doesn't just just tell you what and when to trade, he actually takes the wheel and does it all for you. Okay, so you can choose from a big list of approved traders, find one that you like that has a high profitability rate, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to go about finding the very best ones. And then when you copy that trader, your account is basically gonna mirror every move that they make, and it all happens on autopilot. So you just get to sit back and let it all happen. Now, as you can see here on the screen, we're currently inside my trading account on the Bing app platform that's the exchange that I use and I've got these trades open right now that you can see okay so I've got a few longs open I've got one short open and now I did not actually open these trades okay these were all done automatically for me by expert traders by using that copy trading feature now I've been copy trading for quite a while now I first started over a year ago and I've tried this out on many different platforms with many different traders using different strategies and throughout my time doing copy trading I've learned some extreme important lessons through my own experience through trial and error these are absolutely crucial things that can make all the difference in your level of success and I'm gonna share all of that with you guys so you can be equipped with the knowledge you need to succeed because when everything is dialed in properly man copy trading can be an extremely profitable venture literally like a passive income machine but it is not without its risks okay you don't just want to jump in blindly and just start copy trading without having any clue what you're doing so that's why I'm gonna break it all down for you guys right here in this video. So definitely pay attention and watch this one all the way through because I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to get started with copy trading completely from scratch. I'll show you how to set up a brand new account, then how to find and precisely select the very highest quality traders to copy, what mistakes to avoid when setting up your copy trading, and lots more. And guys, even better, check this out. Right now, you can get up to $500 of absolutely free money to get you started. All you have to do is just be one of the first hundred people to sign up to the Bing X exchange using my link down below in the description. It's an absolute no brainer. It's totally free money. So more about that in just a moment. But first, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Crypto Skillet, where we talk about all things crypto and I share the latest and greatest DeFi projects and ways to make passive income in the crypto space. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, then go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. And keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm an investor sharing my thoughts, experiences, and opinions. So always do your own due diligence and never invest more than you're willing to lose. And now with that said, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, in order to get started with copy trading, you've got to first get on an exchange. So it really does matter which exchange you choose. They're not all created equal, so you want to go with the very, very best. And that's why I use the Bing X trading platform. I've talked about this exchange before here on this channel because this is the exchange that I use to do my own trading. And as it turns out, their copy trading feature is second to none. Again, I've tried lots of these and Bing X is by far my favorite. And Bing X has actually won the best broker award on TradingView for the past two years. They've got over 600 cryptocurrencies with over 5 million users worldwide. And you can even use it to trade stocks and Forex in addition to crypto as well. And if any of you guys have been using other exchanges, I'm sure you've noticed that there's been a lot of issues with KYC requirements lately. So that's why it's so nice to know that Bing X does not require a KYC. Okay, so you don't have to give them all your personal information. You don't have to upload a photo of yourself or anything like that. You just simply sign up and start trading. It's really, really simple. So because I like this platform so much, I've decided to partner up with Bing X and they're gonna absolutely hook you guys up. They're gonna give you up to $500 of new user trading bonuses. It's completely free money exclusively for my audience, but you've gotta be one of the first 100 people to sign up using my link. And this is gonna be valid from now until August 20th. Second, It's a special limited time deal to celebrate this new partnership. So go ahead and get your free bonuses. The link is down below in the description. Okay, so once you've signed up and created your account, the first thing you've got to do is deposit funds into your account. So all you've got to do is come up here in the top right and you see this little icon right here. You're going to mouse over that and then click deposit. Then this box is going to pop up. Make sure you read through their deposit and withdraw user guide and then just click right here to agree and then confirm. Okay, now then right here in this drop down box, you're just going to leave this at USD. DT. 
because that's the currency we're gonna be using to do our copy trading. Okay, then for network, you can choose from any of these networks that they've got listed right here. I always use Bet20 on the Binance Smart Chain. So you can click there to select the network that you're gonna be sending USDT on. Now, when you have a brand new account, it's probably gonna give you this message right here. All you have to do is just click get address. And there we go. Now an address automatically pops up and this is the address that you're gonna send your funds to. Okay, so you can click this icon right here to automatically copy that address to your clipboard and then all you got to do is just open up your metamask or your trust wallet or whatever other wallet you're using and then you're going to send usdt bet 20 to that address okay so you can send whatever amount you want to deposit again this is just going into your account so you can get it back out at any time so it's entirely up to you now this part right here is really important so where it says deposit account by default it's going to be set to fund account but we want to modify this okay so you're going to click modify and then you're gonna select Perpetual Futures Account, okay? So just click right there, and now you see that has been switched to Perpetual Futures. Now you can also use Standard Futures. There are some copy trading options for Standard, but I found that by far the best options lie with Perpetual Futures. Okay, now once you've already made your deposit, you can move your funds around between these different accounts, like between the Perpetual Futures and the Standard Futures. Like for example, I use these Standard Futures a lot to do my own trading, and I primarily use Perpetual Futures for the copy trading. So just know, you you can move this stuff around after the fact, but just to get you started, go ahead and select Perpetual Futures right here. Okay, so then once that's selected, you're gonna go ahead and copy this address, send whatever amount of USDT you want to that address, and then once you've sent those funds, it usually just takes a few seconds to get those 15 network confirmations, and then after a few moments, you're gonna see your deposit has gone through. So you're just gonna come over here where it says My Assets. You're gonna click right here, and then you're gonna be able to see your total amount of assets that's in your account. So as you can see, I've got one hundred dollars of total assets right now and if i click up here on futures you can see all hundred dollars is in perpetual futures okay they've got it broken down again into perpetual and standard and all of mine right now is in perpetual okay so now our account is funded and we're ready to get started with the actual copy trading so we're just going to come up here to the top where it says copy trading we're going to mouse over right there and just click copy trading and that's going to take you right here to this page okay now this is really important because this is the area where you're going to actually be selecting which trade traders you want to copy. So they've got some of their top traders listed right here. You see trending traders. These are trending traders in the last seven days. They've also got conservative traders that are for more low risk, long-term growth. They've got rising stars. And then down here, they've got all traders, okay? Now they have this filter option and this is really, really important. So we can click right here. And then the first thing we can select by is which one of the futures types that these traders are gonna be using. So go ahead and click Bing X Perpetual Futures. Then you can sort these traders by their account level, their cumulative P&L, their account assets, how many copiers they have, the cumulative earnings of their copiers, the 30-day ROI, the risk level, the win ratio, P&L ratio, average holding time, and trade days. So at first, maybe I want to select silver. So they're at least silver all the way up to level diamond. Okay, these are going to be the slightly more qualified traders. Then if I scroll down here to win ratio, maybe I want to make sure they're winning at least 50% of the time. So I can drag that up here to make sure that their win ratio will fall within 50 to 100% of the time. And again, you can adjust more. You can choose from any of these parameters and that's really gonna help you narrow down your search, okay? So then when you've got that where you want it to be, you're gonna click confirm. And now it's gonna automatically sort these traders based on those criteria that you've selected. Okay, now straight away, you can see a little preview of the trader. You can see what their 30-day ROI percentage has been, how many copiers they have, and their total risk level. So for example, if I look over here, you can see this one has a 30.16% 30-day ROI percentage. That's really, really good. And their risk level is only at four, which is pretty moderate. And you'll tend to notice that usually with the higher ROI levels, like with this one here, this is 106.12% 30-day ROI. But that one also has a little bit higher risk level as well of five, whereas this one's only at four. Okay, so now, for example, if I wanted to get more information about this particular trader, I can just click right here. And that's gonna take me into the trader's details, okay? So this is really, really important to make sure you look through all of this properly. So again, you can see the 30-day ROI and right here you can see the cumulative amount of total earnings from this trader. Now here's the total amount of account assets that they have and the copier's total profits. Right here shows you how many people are copying them and again the risk level. And now over here this is the win ratio, okay? So this is the ratio of how many times they're winning versus losing their trades. And this one is at 88.53%, which is really high. So you can see they've got a total of 593 total transactions with 525 of them being winning trades and only 68 of them being losing trades. 
So the average profit is listed right here. So that's at 10.53%. And the average losses are at negative 54.40%. So in this case, the average losses are higher, but there's far fewer of them. Again, there's an 88% win ratio. And here you can see the P&L ratio is one to 6.1. You can see their average holding time. You can see the trading frequency. So this one has about 593 trades per week. So this is quite a high frequency trader right here. Then over here, you can check out the performance of this trader. They always have these drop down boxes where you can choose a time period. So this is super important. You don't just want to go with the short term time periods. You also want to check out over a longer period of time. So you could check out like the last 90 days. And that's going to give you a more complete overview of how this trader has been performing. So in this case, it hasn't exactly been stellar. Okay, there's been some ups and downs. And if we look down here at the performance, you can see that they're mostly having these green weeks with a few red sprinkled in there as well. And again, we can change the time frame to 90 days. And so when we do that, you can see they did have one tremendously down week. So that's really, really important information that you want to get before you decide to copy a trader. Okay, then you can see the risk assessment level on a weekly basis. Now down here, you can see the top traded coins. So this one is using YGG, BCH, and ADA primarily. And now another really important thing you're going to want to do is come up here and look at current positions. And this is going to show you the current open positions that this trader has right now. So it shows you the trading pair that they're using and the ROI, the average open price, et cetera. So you can see this particular trader has four open trades. Two of them are in profit. Two of them are not. And what you really want to look for here in this current positions tab is to make sure that there's not a ton of open trades that are in the red. Okay. One thing that I have seen happen before, not really on Bing X, but I've seen it on some other copy trading platforms is that some traders will kind of artificially boost their stats by never closing out losing positions. Okay. It only gets counted on your stats when you close a trade. So if they never close the trade, then they never get those losses counted. And if you're not coming in here and thoroughly researching this and looking at their current open positions, you might not notice this. And so if you did decide to follow a trader that has a ton of open losing trades, you might end up regretting that because that could mean that they don't necessarily have winning strategies, but rather they're just manipulating the data to make it look like they're more successful than they are. Okay. Again, I have learned this from experience. So just trust me here. Just make sure that you always look at their current positions before you decide to copy any particular trader. Now you're going to also want to look at their trade history. So this is going to show you all of the trades that they've closed. In this case, there are lots more winning trades than losing trades. It looks like they're doing really, really well in here. So those are just a few things that you really want to consider no matter which trader you're considering copying. All right, now if I go back to the top where it says trending traders, I can also look at more than just these first three by clicking see all. And now this is going to show me the top trending traders. And I'll just caution you guys, don't just blindly go in and copy all the top guys because they're listed in the trending traders section. Now I will say, that they do tend to be pretty high quality. Bing X does a really good job of sorting these traders, but still remember that the trader that you choose is going to be using your money to make these trades. Okay. You're really putting a lot of trust in these traders. You're putting your money in their hands. So it really behooves all of us as copy traders to go ahead and do that extra bit of research just to make sure that we know what we're getting ourselves into. So if I look at this first guy, okay, that's 91.58% total ROI in the last 30 days, which is pretty stellar. And there are over 31,000 copiers with this guy and just a two level of risk. So this looks pretty solid. Let me click here. And now here's the trader details. So I'm just going to do a little bit more research real quick. So again, that's really good 30 day ROI. And that's really good cumulative earnings as well. And as I look over here at this graph for the last 30 days, that's been a nice steady increase. So now let me change it to 90 days and look at that. That looks great. Okay. It's just been constantly on the rise. That tells me that this trader knows what they're doing and they have been getting consistent results over time. Okay. So that's great to see. Now it also helps that they have 30 1,000 copiers. That's pretty encouraging because obviously the better a trader does, the more people are going to want to copy them. And then as those people are copying them, if they're getting consistent results, then they're probably going to stay copying them. So that is a good sign. Now look at this win ratio with this guy. This is 87.69% win ratio. That's absolutely fantastic. So they've got 171 winning trades and only 24 losing trades. And the average profit percentage is 16.92% and the average loss percentage is only 
only 11.47%. Now their P&L ratio is 1.8 to 1. That's really, really good. I really like to see that. And this guy is a pretty high frequency trader as well. You can see the average trades per week is 195. And if I look over here at the performance, you can see every single week over the last 30 days has been positive. They've all been in the green. So now let me go back a little bit and check out the last 90 days. And wow, that's really impressive. There was one down week, but all the rest of them have been positive. That's a really, really good sign yet again. And if I look at risk assessment, it's always been pretty low. Some of these weeks is only one. Some of them are two. There is one that's three. So generally on the lower end of the risk range. So, so far, so good. I'm really liking this. Now look at the top traded coin. This guy only uses Dogecoin. Okay, now to me, that tells me this guy probably specializes in Doge. Okay, a lot of traders do that. They have like one or maybe two coins that they're really, really experts in. They know all the stuff to look at. They really understand the way that the coin trades. And in this guy's case, 100% of those trades have been with Dogecoin. All right, so now let's go ahead and do some more research. Let's check out the current positions. And what do you know? There's only one position that's open right now, and that one is in profit at about 11%. So that's great to see. Now let's check out the trade history. And we see we've got a lot of winning trades and it looks like there's only one losing trade on this list so far. I'll open up a few more and man, that's a lot of green and only a little bit of red. That's exactly what we want to see here. So now based on what I'm seeing, I really like this particular guy. Now I want you guys to understand I'm not trying to endorse any particular traders here. Okay. I'm just showing you guys how you would go about making your own decisions using these very, very important criteria. I don't want you guys to just go copy copy everything that I'm doing here. All right, again, it's important to make your own decisions because after all, it's gonna be your money that's getting used here. Okay, so just keep that in mind here. But with that said, I do like this trader right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy. Now, when you click copy on a trader, this box is gonna pop up. And the first thing you're gonna need to choose between is fixed margin and position ratio. Now, I always go with fixed margin. That just means that when the trader opens a trade, you can specify an exact amount of margin that you want to use with that trade regardless of how much money the trader is putting into the trade. Okay, so the trader could be putting in $20,000 on a trade, but if you specify this margin as $50, then it's only gonna use $50 of your money to enter that trade. Okay, it'll still open and close the trades at all the same times, but this just allows you to choose how much money you're willing to put in on any given trade. Okay, now when you're copying a brand new trader that you've never tried out before, I highly recommend starting low with these margins. Okay, now of course that is a relative term, What's low for one person might be high for another. And of course, this is gonna depend on how much you've got in your account altogether. Now, I started with a really, really small amount of just $100 in my account. So for the margin, I'm gonna go ahead and set this at 20. So that means every time a trade gets opened, it's gonna be using $20 out of my account to enter that trade. Now, do be aware that some of these traders will open multiple trades at the same time. So you don't want your margin to take up too much of your total account balance, because in this case, if my margin is 20, and I've only got $100 in my account, that means I can only have a total of five of these trades open at any given time. Okay, so do with that what you will, but just be aware of that, that you can have multiple trades open, so you just wanna make sure you've got enough left over so that new trades can get open if that trader decides to open more. Okay, then you can click right here and set your take profit and stop loss ratios. Now, setting a stop loss is probably the most important thing that you can do as a trader or as a copy trader. So this is gonna prevent you from getting totally wide out on whatever you put into a trade. So for example, under stop loss, if I put 20 right here, that means that if I lose 20% on any given trade, it's gonna automatically close that trade regardless of whether or not the trader that I'm copying has closed the trade. Okay, so some traders are a little more risky than others, but having your own stop loss basically gives you the ability to specify the maximum amount that you're willing to lose on any given trade. Okay, then take profit. This allows you to specify an amount of profit that you're willing to go ahead and lock in and exit a trade, even if the trader you're copying hasn't yet closed out the trade. Now, I don't always set a take profit when I'm copy trading, so it's totally optional. Really, both of these are optional, but I would say the stop loss should be mandatory, okay? You always wanna put a stop loss, but your take profit, again, is optional. It's just totally up to you. So once you've got your stop loss and take profit and your margin amount, just make sure you read through the copy trading instructions and then go ahead and click copy now. And there we go. You can see it was successful and I have now followed this trader. So I can click view details and boom, that takes me here into my 
copy trading area. And this area shows you today's earnings and your total earnings, and then any of the traders that you followed, okay? So there's my very first trader that I'm following in this account. It shows you your margin and today's earnings and cumulative earnings for that particular trader. Now you can go and edit these settings at any time. All you do is just click where it says like today's earnings or margin, any of these, and that opens this back up. So now if you wanted to adjust the amount of margin you're using for that trader, or if you wanted to change the take profit and stop loss, you can do all that right here and then click okay to save it. And if you decide you wanted to stop copying a particular trader, you can do that by clicking stop copying right here as well. Now, once you've got a trader copied, you really don't need to do much more at that point. You really just need to sit back and wait and let them start opening trades. And then once they do open trades, you can find those here in derivatives. Okay. If you just mouse over where it says derivatives, you can see they've got standard futures and perpetual futures. Okay. So just click on perpetual futures, and then you're going to be able to see any open trades under position. Okay. And then you can click on copy trading and it shows you all of the information for each individual trade. You'll be able to see the unrealized PL, the open price, the market price, the margin, etc. Now you can also adjust your take profit and stop loss levels right here within this perpetual futures area. And if at any point you want to go ahead and exit the trade, you can do that by clicking the close button. Okay, so it's super, super easy. Again, it's very hands-off because you're allowing an expert trader to do all your trading for you, but still with the freedom to go ahead and make any adjustments that you want or to go ahead and exit a trade entirely if you choose to do so as well. Okay, so that's how it works, guys. Again, make sure that you pay close attention to the things that I've told you when it comes to selecting a trader, because with copy trading, your success really, really depends on the individual trader that you're copying. Okay, if you get a good one or several good ones, they can make a lot of money for you. But remember that it is trading, so you can also lose money as well, especially if you're not careful about making your decisions on who you select as your trader that you're copying. So one strategy you might wanna use is to choose several different traders at first and use a very, very small position size or margin amount for each trader. You can kind of see how their trades go. And then from there, you can narrow it down to the very, very most successful traders and then just stop copying any traders who have subpar results. And then of course, if you're getting consistent results over time, you can increase that margin size. Okay. Now with that said, again, guys, it is trading, which means that it does come with risks. Even the very most successful traders still lose some of the time. Okay. So don't be surprised. You are going to get Get some losing trades in there. There is no such thing as an absolutely perfect trader who never loses, okay? It just doesn't happen. That's not realistic, okay? These guys are expert traders. They are professionals, but that does not mean that they're always gonna win. So just make sure you understand that. What we're looking for here is more wins than losses, or at least a greater amount of profit than losses, okay? That's what we're going for. We want our account size to grow over time, and that's exactly what can happen when you find a great trader or maybe even multiple great traders traders. Okay. It really can become a passive income machine, but again, just make sure you're being careful and never put in more than you're willing to lose, especially in the early days, because before you really get to know how a particular trader trades and to actually see the results for yourself, I always consider the early phase as like the experimental phase where you're really gathering information about the traders. Okay. You can get a pretty good idea of how it's going to work out just by analyzing the statistics of the trader in the way that I showed you guys earlier, but I still always play it safe at first and go with with a low position size or a low margin amount. So that way I can really get some historical data of my own before going in with larger amounts of money. But again, guys, that's just the way that I approach it. Everybody has to make these decisions for themselves. And that's why it's so cool that Bing X has decided to be so generous and offer my viewers up to $500 of free money in these new user trading bonuses. Again, all you have to do is just sign up with the link down below in the description. So go ahead and do that, get your free stuff. And if you got value out of this video, do me a favor and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy hearing about these new and upcoming DeFi projects and ways to make passive income with crypto, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a future video. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter and join my Telegram group so you can stay connected. And I've got links for both of those down in the description as well. All right, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.